hello welcome back to my channel I am Marcella this is our sacred space and this is a reading for my Scorpios okay so let's see This is very interesting because you're reading for Scorpios. Um, it starts with the lover's card in reverse. And I just did the Pisces reading and it started with the lovers upright. So that's very, it's just funny. So you have the lover's card in reverse, which tells me that this could be a lover. This could be a friend that you care very deeply about or just someone that is very close to you that you love dearly. And it seems like because it came in reverse, there may be some kind of either tension there. There may be something um, disrupting the peace within your re uh, relationship or friendship. Um, but that's that's okay because even though the lover's card is in reverse you have the world upright you have the world upright and then you have the hermit that follows it and not only do you have the hermit but you also have the eight of pentacles so what that tells me is that Although this is a tricky time for you and someone that you care deeply about, there is, there is something that you're trying to focus on apart from that. So even though you're going through these, these issues, there's a part of you that's just focusing on something else and your accomplishments and your goals and, and different things and travel and all of these things. So, because the world is, is about accomplishment, but it can also mean like you're going places, you're traveling, you want to do other things, you want to see other things and experience the world. So, leaving the, those issues on the back burner, you're moving on to, to do things that are, that make you happy. And that you want to, like I said, you want to accomplish, you want to do. Whether you're taking a trip and you just have to leave this in the back of your mind for a little bit, it's time for you to, to do those things and go about your business and basically take time for yourself because the hermit is there, the hermit came up. So this is, this is a lot of you time, this is you um, taking time for yourself. So. If you are planning a trip, go on that trip, do your thing. Um, if you are just planning on focusing on yourself for a little bit and your goals and accomplishments, do that. Take time to yourself, by yourself, be with yourself for a little bit and focus on your goals. Focus on what it is that you're good at. Focus on 
the your craft, your trade, the things that bring you joy, your hobbies, start focusing on that and less on the crap that's going on with whoever this is. Just leave that alone for a little bit. And it's time to with the eight of pentacles, this is sorry, my kitty. My kitty is distracting me. Um, this is just a time for you to really focus on yourself and really not be so much with the crowd right now. This is really you time and really focusing on what, whatever it is that you love to do. You also have the two of swords here in reverse. So this means that while you are doing you, while you are focusing on you and paying more attention to yourself and your needs and your craft, your hobbies and your love, um, you're seeing things a little bit more clearly as you focus in on yourself and as you spend more time with yourself. Now you're starting to see things more clearly. You're not as blindfolded as this, um, as the woman on the card seems to be because she's in reverse so you that blindfold is off you're seeing things you are making those hard decisions you're you know the decisions that once seemed very hard to make for you you're you're now like all right I got this I'm I can see things clearly now and this is what I want and you're going for it which is why this is so important working on you focusing on you working on things that you love to do and doing them by yourself this is alone time and you by doing that you are able to just see things for what they are see things very clearly those decisions are not so hard anymore and in so this is almost like things are coming to light as you are as you spend more time with yourself things come to light and I say this because the seven of swords came up and the seven of swords is my sneaky card you know someone trying to get away with something someone trying to just you know just being very sneaky and not having the best intentions trying to get away with something so as you start seeing these things clearly, you start note you're gonna notice someone that is trying to manipulate a situation. And what the cards are telling you to do about that. So the Knight of Wands came up in reverse. So the Knight of Wands in reverse. And then you have the Two of Cups. That, that's upright so even though things are coming to light and you're seeing things clearly and now you've noticed that someone is is um, not as honest as they should be and they're trying to pull a fast one on you don't be so hasty when dealing with that person it may be because the two of cup the two of cups upright and the knight of wands in reverse you may you may find out that they're doing something a little shady but it seems like you may give them another chance you may just like this may open up a a conversation where you see each other on a different level and you just let things go and you're just like okay so don't be so hate don't act on it um too quickly be careful at be careful with the fire that you put behind this um just be very careful of your words and be mindful of of the situation and try to look at it from all all sides and all aspects but I do see that even though this person 
may have been trying to pull something on you. I do see partnership here. I do see a good partnership here. So come, coming together again with, with this person, which is not always easy to do when someone, you know, is sneaky about something or shady about something. But I do see here that, you know, as you spend time alone and as you focus on yourself and, you know, it, it comes to a point in your life where you realize that people, people do things for their own reasons. People have their own crap that they deal with. People have their own traumas. People have their own life experiences that have, you know, mess them up in some way and sometimes people do things and they don't even realize why or how they're doing it or they don't even know why you know so sometimes as you know even myself you have to be the bigger person and see where they're coming from see why they're doing it and and realize that what they're doing to you has nothing to do with you but everything to do with them and because you are seeing things in a different light, you're able to understand that better. So forgiveness is not as difficult when you realize these things because you realize that that person is dealing with their own issues that have to be addressed. So sometimes there is room for forgiveness. And even when they do things that are not necessarily agreeable, there is still room for partnership and and togetherness and there is still room to continue having a relationship even after that situation and the page of wands also came up for you so in that situ in that you know in this same situation there may be things about this person that you will be discovering that you've never known before or things that you know now that you're seeing things differently you are going to be discovering things about the situation or yourself or this person things are going to be coming to light discoveries are going to be made and this those are things that you just have to welcome them and not resist them and not try to ignore them or push them away um, these are things that you're gonna have to really accept or learn to deal with learn to accept that person for what it is that they can bring to the table and not necessarily what you think they should be capable of or they should be doing or how they should be it's time to just go with the flow and when you when you're when you start seeing different sides of this person I mean of course you can always decide whether or not you still want them in your life but when people show you who they really are believe them the first time so it's important that when they when you start seeing these different sides of them don't try to make it something else. It is what it is. They are who they are. And take it or leave it. So there is room to continue having them in your life. But you're going to have to accept that that comes with different parts of them. And accepting those parts as a whole. So, my Scorpios, let's get some oracle cards out for you You got Sisterhood of the Rose.
beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Okay, so what this means to me is that this time that you're taking to yourself, getting into hermit mode, and mastering your craft and concentrating on what it is that you love doing, that, that alone is going to bring you into a place of learning more about yourself, you becoming your own teacher, you tuning in to your mind, which, you know, is a, a mystical place, it is a magical place, it is a place where you can manifest and change things, and that is where you're going to find yourself, my cat just dropped my orange, that's where you're going to find yourself learning the most when you start listening to yourself and learning from yourself becoming your own teacher de having that devotion to yourself and finding the beauty within that finding the beauty within listening to yourself and doing what's right by you so i think that's what is very important during this time i think the biggest lesson you can take out of this reading is that right now you need to get away from the chaos and the people and everybody else's energy and start tuning into your own energy and figuring out you know how to be alone with your thoughts and what they mean and really separating yourself from everything else and and discovering 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 what it is that makes you like who you want to become and that's it okay my darlings this was a wonderful reading and i hope you enjoyed it i hope it resonated with you do not forget to like and subscribe below and drop a comment and have a wonderful holiday wonderful thanksgiving and I shall see you soon next month. Bye, guys.